This given triangle EDF is an equilateral triangle with Q as its circumcenter. Uh, Q is the main center sign, EDF the y sign, and then we know that um EQ, QD, and QF are the radii. So EQ, QD, and QF is this square's half. And then we know that AD is equal to DB is equal to BF is equal to AE, and then um. So A D 等于 D B 等于 D F 等于 A E， 因为 A 和 B 是呃那两个线段的终点。And then we know that these three are this is an equilateral triangle. So E D equals 呃 D F equals E F。我们知道这是一个呃等边三角形。And then we know that A B is parallel to E F. 呃、uh, A B 和 E F 是平行的。We are trying to uh prove that AB is equal to one plus root five over two, given that BC equals one. 我们需要证明 AB 等于黄金比例就等于一加五的平方根除以二。B is the midpoint of DF, A is the midpoint of ED, and P is the midpoint of EF, and then Q is the circumcenter. Uh, we know that the circumcenter is the intersection of all perpendicular bisectors. And we already know that QB is a bisector,、uh, given the fact that B is the midpoint. So, and then since Q is the circumcenter, we know that QB is perpendicular to DF, and the same logic applies to QA and QP. Uh, B is DF's 的终点 ，A 是 ED 的终点 ，P 是 EF 的终点 ，Q 是三角形的外心。然后我们知道外心是垂直平方线的。呃、uh, ，交叉点，所以我们已经知道 QB 是 DF 的呃平分线，因为 QB 是 DF 的终点，所以呃 QB 呃就是 D QB 和 DF 是呃垂直的。那、uh, we have four different right triangles: P, E, Q, E, A, Q, A, D, Q, and D, B, Q. And we know that they are right triangles because P, Q is perpendicular to E P and then Q A is perpendicular to, uh A D and Q B is perpendicular to、e、D B as proven earlier, and then we know that um D Q equals D Q by reflexive property, and then Q E equals Q E by reflexive property, and then so this allows us to prove the, uh four right triangles congruent to each other, by the hypotenuse leg triangle uh postulate, because the hypotenuse, they are all equal to each other. And then the leg, which is、uh, AD, DB,、uh, AE, and EP, are all equal to each other. So,、uh, because they are congruent, we know that corresponding parts of corresponding triangles are equal. So that's why we could prove that AQ is equal to QB is equal to QP. And then, because we know that those three things are equal, we can prove that Q is also the in center of the triangle EDF. Because an in center is equidistant to all the um to the midpoint of each side of the triangle, and then one property about the in center of the triangle is that the in center is the angle is the intersection of all the angle bisectors. Therefore, we can prove that QF is the angle bisector of angle EFD, and then we know that EFD is sixty degrees because triangle EFD is an equilateral triangle. And since QF is an angle bisector, and again the reason it's an angle bisector is because it's equidistant to all the side lengths, and then so that's why we could prove that angle QFD is thirty degrees, and then we know that QFB is a thirty sixty ninety triangle. 三角形 QPE、三角形 QEA、三角形 QAD 和三角形 DBQ 是呃四个直角三角形，因为 QB 和 PE 垂直 ，QA 和 AD 垂直 ，QB 和 DB 垂直。然后我们知道 DQ 等于 DQ 和 EQ 等于 EQ， 让并且 EA 等于 AD 等于 DB 等于 PB。所以我们知道有两个情况：第一，四个三角形都是直角三角形；第二，这个三角形有两个边，呃，四个三角形互相有两个边都是相等的。在这种情况下，我们可以用 H L 定理去说，用 H L 定理去说这四个三角形是相等的。
，如果我们知道这四个三角形，呃 ，QPE、QAD 和 DBQ 和 QEA 是相等的情况下，我们可以说 AQ 等于 QB 等于 QP。在这种情况下的话，我们就知道 Q 是三角形 EDF 的。内心，因为一个三角形的内心和三角形的边的垂直距离是相等的。如果我们知道 Q 是三角形 EDF 的内心的话，那我们就知道 QF， 呃，就是会平分角 EFD。因为一个三角形的内心的一个特征就是，呃，三个不同的角平分线的交叉点，所以 Q 是。三角形的内心，因为 Q 和 QA 等于 QB 等于 QP， 呃，之所以 QF 就是呃三角就是角 EFD 的呃平分的平分线，在这种情况下，我们知道 EFD 是六十度，然后呢 ，QF 如果是平分 EFD 的话，那 QFD 就是呃三十度。在这种情况下，我们就知道 QBF 是一个三十六十九十度的三角形。So we know that um, AB is equal to uh BF, and the reason for this is because triangle DAB is similar to triangle DEF since all three sides are parallel to each other, and because they are similar, the ratio of DF to EP is the same as the ratio of DB to AB, and then since the ratio of DF to EP is one because it's an equilateral triangle. This means the ratio of DB to AB is also one,、uh, which is an equilateral triangle, meaning that AB is equal to DF since um they are equilateral, and then D、uh, DB is equal to BF because B is the midpoint, which splits um DB and BF into equal parts. So we know that the three sided DAB is a uh equal three sided triangle because DAB and DF are 呃，相似的，它们相似的原因是因为三个边它们互相平行。如果这两个三角形相似的话，我们就可以说 DB 和 AB 的比例等于 DF 和 EF 的比例。然后呢 ，DF 和 EF 的比例是一，因为这个是一个等边三角形。之所以 DB 和 AB 的比例也是一，在这种情况下的话，只要 AB 就等于了 DB。然后 DB 等于 BF， 因为，呃 ，DB 等于 BF， 呃，因为 B 是呃 DF 的终点。So we know that both QF and QC is equal to the radius of the circle, and that we know that QB is equal to one half the radius of the circle. Because QBF is a thirty sixty ninety triangle with QB being the opposite side of the thirty degree angle, and then we know that angle QBC is equal to angle QBF, which is ninety degrees, plus the angle of FBC, which is equal to sixty degrees. And the reason why it's sixty degrees is because it's vertical from angle ABD, which is the interior angle of an equilateral triangle. So the sum of this is a hundred and fifty degrees. So now we are going to use the、uh, cosine rule or the law of cosines. Solving the equation for BC, we get that BC is equal to negative root three times one plus or minus root five divided by four, and then we use the length of AB divided by the length of BC、uh, to get that the ratio between AB and BC. Is equal to the golden ratio. After we simplify the expression, which is what we are trying to prove. 用云显定律，我们可以知道 BC 的长度，然后我们再用 BC 的，用 AB 的长度除以 BC 的长度，就知道 AB 比 BC 就等于一加五的平方根除以二，也就是黄金比例，也就是我们想证明的结果。